Yesterday, I spoke with Lake Melville MHA, Keith Russell, who had some strong things to say about some of the people protesting the Muskrat Falls development. He said some of them have no historical connection to that area and are just jumping on the environmental bandwagon. He called their reference to ancestors and sacred ground mumbo-jumbo. Well, Jacinda Beals is one of four people who recently held a protest at Muskrat Falls. Yesterday, she posted this statement on Facebook in response to Keith Russell. She said, I am writing this because I am feeling the need to explain myself. I listen to people questioning me and why I am protesting the development at Muskrat Falls, and I may have some sort of agenda. And I have no roots there, and it's only an old walking trail that I am jumping on the bandwagon. So here it is, the reason why I stood on the road that day. It is the same reason I write songs about Labrador, the reason I have spent time touring the schools in our communities to promote Labrador pride and to sing to the children songs about this great land and the people who live here. It's the same reason I am part of Friends of the Eagle River and have performed in schools with them as they presented to young Labrador youth the importance of keeping our rivers clean and protected. It is why I choose to live here and work here. I love Labrador. Every part of it. I am Labrador to the core. That should never be questioned. I will protest anything that wants to destroy this wonderful and pristine place. It is my home. That's why. And again, that's a statement by well-known Labrador singer-songwriter Jacinda Beals. And here are some calls we had to talk back about Russell's statements yesterday. David Wolfrey. Yeah, I'd just like to make a comment on uh, Keith Russell's story this morning uh, about uh, Muskrat Falls. Uh, he said there was no effect on the Aboriginal people. Uh, I live in Riglet, and I'm not that old, but uh, I've seen effects. You know, I've seen some effect, and, I, and, and the older people that was here in the community, I listen to them, and, and they, they tell me but all the changes that happened after they harnessed the Upper Churchill. So I know where Keith did not get where he getting his information from, but I think he should at least go to listen to the older people in the communities and before he makes comments like that. Uh, uh, Keith, uh, I guess he was uh, still in Pampers uh, when they when they uh, harnessed the uh, Upper Church. Also, I think he should get his information from the older people instead of thinking that he was out on the land and he never seen no changes because it was all too late then when he got out on the land. Anyway, it makes you uh, pisses me off. Anyway, makes you makes you mad, you know, when you have people on there saying stuff like that when they don't even take notice of the elders in the communities. Thank you. Hi, uh, Gwen Watts from Northwest River College. I listened to our MHA's interview this morning. Wow. I, I want to speak up because I want to defend the right of anybody to protest anything they see as wrong. He, mo- he mocked protesters. He belittled people's spiritual beliefs. He said we have to be wary of who has true motives because some protesters don't. He knows who has true motives and who doesn't. He linked that to protesters not being from this area as if that lessened their credibility. He used the phrase 100% Aboriginal. And by doing that, he voiced something that's always an undercurrent here. And we're often judged as to who's an Aboriginal, who is not, who's Aboriginal enough. It's just sad when an elected official perpetuates that kind of division. He said that protesters are romanticizing things and he understands from elders that the area around Muscat, Muscat Falls is not sacred ground. and I've heard respected elders from different cultures here in Labrador speak to its sacredness. So do we all have to agree on a point for it to be valid or real to some? Our MHA said that if protesters are concerned about the environment, then just stick to talking about the environment and not mention finances or jobs or other power options. Strange. I thought all those things needed to be factored into account if we are worried about the environment, as the MHA himself said, do your homework, make your case in an intelligent way. Well, that's how you do it. Many people, including me, have strong concerns about this development and see the jobs and byproducts that our MHA glowingly spoke of as short-term benefits that will be long gone when we have to deal with the negative impacts and minimal benefits for us in our lives in Labrador. In that interview, our MHA did so well what I've seen our provincial government do so often, attack a person or a group's credibility when they do not agree with you. Thank you. Yes, good morning. This is Anthony Olson from the territory known as Labrador. 
I listened to your program this morning with uh, Mr. Keith Russell commenting on the protest in the, on Muscat Falls. Uh, I was a little confused by his interpretation of the rules of protesting. Apparently, you can only protest for one reason at a time. For example, if you're an Aboriginal person, you should only protest if you have a direct relationship with a specific geographic area. If you are an environmentalist, you can only protest based on environmental issues. And I guess you have to be an economist to protest on the economic disaster that is about to unfold in Labrador. I'm sorry, Mr. Russell, but I choose to protest on all three of these for the following reasons. As a person with Aboriginal background, I consider the land and all that it supports sacred. And being a resident of this great territory that is known as Labrador, I think I have a duty and a responsibility to prevent further destruction of a river that has been the lifeblood of many of our people for centuries. Being of Aboriginal background, that makes me an environmentalist, and that means I have the right to protest any project that will do permanent damage to the land, water, or air that all people, regardless of race or creed, depend on in order to continue life as we know it. From an economic point of view, I'm not an economist, but I've been paying attention to those who are. They have good arguments why this project is not economically feasible, and I support their views. So therefore, I can protest based on that. I have the right to protest on all three agendas anywhere, anytime, and I rest assured that I will. We can't change what has happened yesterday, but we can learn from it. Tomorrow is certainly affected by today. You may never change some people's minds. You can't fix stupid, but you have the responsibility to try. Thank you very much. And that's some calls we got to our talkback lines about MHA Keith Russell's comments about protesting at Muskrat Falls yesterday on Labrador Morning. We want to know what you think about what Keith Russell had to say or anything else you've heard on Labrador Morning. Why don't you give our talkback lines a call? In the Upper Lake Melville area, 896-3509. In Labrador West, 944-3616. Toll free, 1-888-699-8255. Or you can always send us an email at labradormorning at cbc.ca. You can find me on Twitter at ColleenCBC.